Hello friend, and welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to our mini adventure. Yes, the classic mini returns. I haven't done anything with it since the first video. So here it is with its wide wheels, its racing slicks, and its uh, weight reduction, and that's it. And as you can see, we are off to Goodwood. Some might call it the spiritual home of British motor racing. It's the historic sports car master. Five laps against some seriously big competition. How are we going to fare? How good is our car here when compared to the, uh, the Clubmans that we started with? Well, as you can see, we're not immediately on the back of the pack. In fact, we're, uh, we're very much in 16th. So what's it going to take? Can we just uh, can we run like this and hope for the best? I don't think so. Here we go. We've got a chance for uh, a move here. Is this where we're best, strongest in the braking zone? I mean, you can assume the Mini is so light that anywhere that involves braking, it's going to have an advantage, surely. But as soon as we try and pull away, look at that. Look at the skyline just dropping us. Oh, my goodness. Well, it was a hard fight through the braking zones. But our first attempt at Goodwood has been met with absolute failure. What do we do? How much can we do to the Mini without doing too much to the Mini? How much kill is overkill? How much time do we need to find? We need to find... 1 minute 16. That's a lot to find over 5 laps. That's like... Maybe 20 seconds a lap. Okay. What can we do? We can't make it any lighter. We can work on the engine. Sure, let's uh, supercharge it a little bit. Change the air filter. Yeah. Clutch. Gearbox. There you go, that's it. There's plenty more things that we could do to this car, but we're not going to do it. So let's go. Five laps of Goodwood. What can we do? Instantly you can see that supercharger making a massive difference. Too much difference. Oh, bye circuit. Okay, let's give another go. We're still on. We've got some amazing looking cars to try and pass. And let's hope we can get up close to them and have a good look. Another skyline there. Hi. Bye. See you again next time. What's this? The 2000 GT. Can we uh, outpace that? If we can get ahead of this, we'll be up to 13th around the outside. It's amazing what happens when you give a tiny light car just a little bit of extra horsepower. Excuse me, Nissan. Thank you very much. So we're up into 12th, which is where we finished the, uh, the first attempt. I mean, this is still lap one. So that's probably a little bit silly. BMW 3. Whoa, bye bye. Okay, up to 11th. But if you look up ahead to 10th, well, that car's not particularly close. So can we close in in the braking zone? Yes. Look at that, the Stratos. Gorgeous, gorgeous car. Always like them. It's one of those dream cars that I'll never own. But, oh, bash him about a little bit. He's coming back. So uh, we're, we're at the sharper end of the field now. The cars are going to come back at us. We're going to take a little bit of pain, perhaps, in certain areas, depending on which car we're up against. That car's so orange. So very orange. I'm sure that livery is going to be worth at least half a second a lap because of all the orange. Anyway, top 10, lap 2. Uh, have we done enough? Really? Revving the, uh, the car out because that fifth gear is long. What have we got here? Well, whatever it was, we're past it. Oh, it was the Maserati. I didn't recognise it at first, but okay. So, once again, using the braking zone to our advantage. Got to expect the shell is going to be very heavy. And, uh, yeah, perhaps that's a little bit of a sneaky line. Uh, you didn't see anything. In fact, I'll, I'll try to remember to edit that out of the video. So if you wonder what I was talking about. Oh, look at this gaggle. Absolute gaggle of cars all falling over each other. Excuse me. 
I don't think there's anything to do with the Mini itself or my driving there. They were just bashing into each other. We're doing pretty well, but I barely see the cars about. Oh, look, straight line speed is our big issue. Well, Valerio Gall Gallo's AI has clearly picked a decent car for this. Excuse me, that was my position and I want it back. Using the braking zone in the chicane, we've caught up with fourth place. Um, got the radar now, there's nothing behind us, so we've dropped Gallo's Lamborghini. That's nice. Uh, the Stingray we can expect to be a bit tail heavy. And, ah, that line again. But it's a Mini, it's a rally car. What do you want me to do about it? You know? It wants to be off-road, it wants to get dirty. Quick look at the mini-map reveals that the cars up ahead are an absolute mile away. We're going to have to really push like crazy to catch them. What do you think? Can we do it? Have we done enough with our supercharger? Uh, little bits of uh, engine boring and such like? Well, I think those cars are getting bigger and bigger, but we've got only two laps after this to do it. I've got to hope that we've got this just right. Minimum upgrades, maximum effect. The mini way. Or not. Well, I'm 1.6 seconds faster than the previous lap, so uh, clearly not having any traffic is really working for me. The Lamborghini behind, by the way, has, has passed fifth place and it seems to be on the move so we need to be very aware of that looking in the mirror making sure that doesn't come up and uh, and fondle us because you know it's a mini it's a very attractive looking little vehicle can we get these two on this lap that'd be great wouldn't it oh ferrari a yellow ferrari that's the that's the color of ferrari should be not red how, how boring is red yellow and black that's what all cars should be can't, can't quite get up there. Oh, braking zone once again. I don't even think I've upgraded the brakes on this thing yet. It's just that the Mini is just so light. Put a Countach up ahead. That'll be rapid in a straight line. But on corners. Well, just ask Fat Cat Gaming because he's uh, he's got one of these and he complains about it constantly. <laughs> Here we go. Through into first. What more could you ask for? Is that it? Are we done? I think we might be. Let's just scamper away. Savor the moment. Nothing could go wrong. Probably. Although the Countach, as I said, it's very fast in a straight line. Is it going to get us? Surely we can outbreak it. Yeah, no problem. That's, that's fine. Don't panic. We do have quite a heavy acceleration zone just here. We're going to want to be doing our best to pull away in this zone. In fact, we are. Look at that. Nice big gap building. This is our final lap. So what we really need to focus on right now is defending in the high speed zones and then going as deep as we can into those braking zones. Because that's the only way we'll be able to keep that Countach behind us. It's going to really start to monster us, uh, particularly on the, the back straight, I think. Come on, Mini. You've got this. In fact, the Countach has been overtaken by um, by Gallo's Lampini. I think that was that a Miura? So, they're all battling behind us. I think that means we are home free. We've done what we need to do with the Mini. Whoa, but we've gone deep. It's okay. Saved it. It's all good. Keep pushing, little Mini. Keep on going. All your hopes and dreams rest on this. If you win this, we'll take you somewhere bigger and tougher. Uh, we've got a problem. There's something approaching behind us like a torpedo. Oh, look at this. No. No. How could you? Can we outbreak it around the outside? We can. Just hold it there. Oh, we're in trouble. We're in so much trouble. But we can use our agility, right? Agility for the win, surely. I think we've done it. Oh, that was a last minute panic. Oh, that was close. Okay. That was a little bit too close for my liking, actually. 
sneaky, sneaky Lamborghini. It's all good. First place. So, supercharger and a few bits of uh, engine work. New gearbox. And that is one second. So we found one minute and 17 overall over five laps. This mini's getting serious. I think it's time to take it to Tokyo. I think it's time to move up to a much higher level of competition. I hope you'll join me then as we go racing through the streets of Japan. Until next time, be good to yourselves, be good to those around you. Bye bye for now. <laughs>